Thank you very much. Um, I'm from a relatively small city of Copenhagen, Denmark. It's uh, in size comparable to that of Portland, America. It's around uh, half a million uh, citizens. Uh, and if you count in the wider region, the wider capital region, uh, you reach around two million uh, citizens. So it's relatively small compared to Chinese uh, uh, cities anyway. I'll try to give you a brief overview of our approach to sustainable transportation and not least, of course, what we're doing to promote EVs uh, in Copenhagen. Uh, in Copenhagen, we have a track record of being quite ambitious in, in uh, reducing our carbon emissions. Uh, we cut our emissions by 20% from 1990 to present date, and we want to cut another 20% uh, in 2015. And we just adopted a climate action plan, which uh, has in it that we will explore carbon neutrality in 2025. So we've been very bold, or either we've been very stupid. We don't quite know just yet, but time will, will, will show. Uh, this implies, of course, that we have to look at the transportation sector and has to, we have to green the transportation sector. Uh, traditionally, our approach has been to pull people out of their cars and into the public transportation network, or even better, onto their bicycles. Uh, uh, in the latter case, we've been so successful as, uh, that more than one-third of all commuting in Copenhagen to the workplace, to people's workplace, is done by bicycle. And our Lord Mayor, who will join the conference later today, he is himself uh, riding his bicycle to the City Hall every day. So we've been quite successful uh, on that level. As well, we are expanding the public transportation network and we are building more metro lines, etc. But we have to face, uh, in the same regard as any other city has to face, that a certain amount of our population, of our citizens, they will retain the right for a car and the ex extended mobility in a car ownership. So we have to look at, at greener, form of, greener forms of, of, of car transport as well. And here, of course, we're focusing uh, primarily on EVs. And in the longer period of time, we will uh, focus also on, on hydrogen cars. But right now, we're focusing on promoting EVs. Uh, in my view, the city uh, plays a key role in two ways in promoting EVs. First of all, uh, cities are themselves large consumers of, 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 of vehicles, of cars. Uh, we own a lot of cars ourselves and we use them every day. So as part of the uh, before mentioned climate action plan, we decided that as of next year, the city will only buy EVs when we replaced all uh, old vehicles. Uh, so the target is that in 2015, 85% of all vehicles owned by the municipality itself has to be either EV or hydrogen cars. This will, in effect, probably be EVs only, but uh, they have to be non-emission vehicles. Uh, the other aspect, which is the topic for today, is, of course, promoting an infrastructure for EVs uh, in, this, in the city. Uh, this has to do with encouraging first movers uh, in a pre-commercial uh, phase uh, you have some, some first movers to buy an EV and to show the rest of the population that EVs are a real alternative to uh, combustion uh, engines. Uh, and there we face uh, two major challenges. Uh, the first is that uh, practically all people who own a car in Copenhagen, they park in the public street. So their home base is a, a parking spot in the public street, and it changes every day. People drive around half an hour, 45 minutes when they return from work in order to find a parking spot, uh, and it'll change day to day. So we have to provide an infrastructure in the public domain, in the public uh, roads, in order for people to have a home base for, for charging their EV. So that's quite a challenge for us. The other challenge is uh, the topic for the final uh, s part of the session today in terms of financing. Uh, we would like to finance some charging points ourselves from the city uh, perspective. We have to move fast on this uh, agenda. But uh, due to national regulation, the city cannot get involved itself in selling electricity and not uh, either uh, providing the infrastructure for selling electricity is a result of a privatization and deregulation of the electricity sector in, uh, in Denmark. So we have to work solely uh, through incentives and through uh, involving uh, stakeholders and trying to create a business case for private operators to get involved in the Copenhagen market and put up uh, infrastructure themselves and get involved in selling electricity to, uh, to uh, first movers in the EV market. 
So here's how we're trying to deal with this in, in Copenhagen. This will probably evolve uh, over the coming years, but this is our, our, our first approach, so to speak. We just made a decision to reserve up to 500 public, already uh, used public, uh, public parking spots, which can be dedicated to the use of, of EVs. Uh, if a private operator, uh, an investor, uh, asks the uh, municipality of Copenhagen if he can have one of these 500 public, public parking space uh, and put up a charging facility and sell electricity, he will be given the permission to do so and he will be granted uh, a 10 years license uh, to do so in order for him to, uh, to have a payback time for his capital uh, investment uh, to do so. Uh, these 500 parking spots are already in use and they're, uh, uh, they're being used every day. Uh, so, uh, uh, so, but we decided that these spots will be reserved exclusively for EVs, which is quite a benefit because uh, there is a considerable shortage of, of parking spots in Copenhagen. Uh, furthermore, uh, we lifted all parking fees, all public parking fees for these uh, 500 parking spaces, which is kind of an a way for the city to support uh, financially also the infrastructure indirectly because this will result in quite a, a loss of revenue for the city part. Uh, you can pay up to four or five dollars an hour to park in some of these uh, parking spaces if you're a non-resident in Copenhagen so this will mean quite a loss for us uh, on the revenue side. Uh, and the last point is that on, on purchasing an EV in Denmark, it's one of the most expensive countries to purchase an EV, a, a car uh, in the world. You have an added tax of 180% when you buy a car in Denmark. Uh, this tax is lifted uh, on a na national basis. So we expect that it, within two, three or four years, uh, buying an EV will actually be compar to, uh, comparable to the price of buying a combustion uh, engine car. The requirements that we pose to, to the operators who would wish to put up charging facilities and sell electricity uh, uh, in the public domain is that they themselves cover all deployment expenses and the uh, maintenance uh, costs for the 10-year period. Moreover, they have to provide a free and open access to their charging facilities so that all types of cars will be able to, uh, to plug into their, uh, their charging facility. At the moment, we would like a lot of, 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 of companies to get involved in this market, but at the moment, two, uh, two uh, primary stakeholders are involved in the Copenhagen market and are already putting up charging facilities. One is a cooperation between uh, Project Better Place and uh, the uh, local uh, electricity provider, Dong Energy, which is financed by Dong Energy at, I think, an estimated value of, of 150 million US dollars. What they're doing is they're putting up a national charging infrastructure uh, uh, in Denmark as a whole, um, uh, consisting of uh, charging points and battery switch stations. Uh, in that regard, they, uh, they uh, made a memorandum of understandings with uh, different uh, key cities in Denmark in order for, to work together on designating which parking spots were most suitable in, in the cities uh, for a better place to get involved in. Uh, their business model, I know that there's a representative from, from Better Place here today, he might be better uh, at explaining this, but it has to do with leasing the battery and driving into a battery switch station and switching uh, the, the battery. Uh, moreover, you, you, well, you sign up with Better Place and you get the full uh, consumer package, so you lease the battery and you pay an, an annual fee. Um, the other operator, or the other stakeholder, which is also very interesting, I think, is a uh, called Moveabout, which is a car rental service or maybe even a car sharing service. They put up charging facilities and put cars in, uh, in parking spots around Copenhagen uh, and where you can sign, off and you ca sign up and you can uh, rent the cars for an hour or a day or a weekend. And this will give uh, citizens a chance to try out an EV without having to purchase one and will uh, help uh, convince them that EVs are indeed uh, a real alternative. So this it's been a quick tour de force of the Copenhagen approach to, to EVs. Thank you. Thank you.